WeChat took part in the opening ceremony of the Eurosun Conference 2016 in Palma de Mallorca. And it's a pleasure to have you welcome two of the main conference organizers of this event, which gathers 315 participants from all five continents. So we have uh, Victor Martina Small with us. He's professor at the University of the Balearic Island here in Palma and chair of the scientific committee. And we have Wolfgang Streicher. He is professor at the University in Innsbruck in Austria and chaired the international committee. So Victor, are you satisfied with the response of the European solar community? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, we we gathered, as you said, this uh, 315. Uh, participants from and uh, it, uh, they really cover all, all the subjects uh, we intended in the co Congress. Wolfgang, you will moderate a panel discussion about current market development in solar energy in Europe. What are the chances and challenges in this topic? Well, we're facing a very uh, dynamic uh, development of the renewable energies, especially in the solar part. And there is a kind of competition coming up between photovoltaic and solar thermal. They use up the same uh, spaces. Uh, photovoltaic can do everything solar thermal is doing, while heat pumps are directly and even more. And the prices are coming down. And in this forum, we will talk about possibilities for solar thermal, for PV, maybe future projections of the market situation of these two and how they may interact in future and in, in the shorter future. Well. This conference covers huge topic, you know, range of topics. You have scientific topics, you have education, you have strategic fields, as you just said, you know. What is the special highlight in the conference program from for your point of view? Maybe, Victor, you start. Uh, yeah, well, in fact, uh, we, we have, uh, apart from the, um, the regular oral and poster uh, uh, presentation, we have two, I think, very interesting forums today and tomorrow. Uh, one about uh, research policies and the other one about uh, market development. And I think that would be also a very good opportunity to, to discuss these important issues. Okay, Wolfgang, your key elements about the conference? Yeah, I mean, the one thing I said already, it's the opening up to more solar systems. So not only having solar thermal or passive solar energy use in, in buildings, but also open it up to, to PV systems. So we will never going to develop in this conference or talk about developments on, on, on PV cells or whatever, but it's the system behind how to use the energy in the building in the energy system. So that's one of the parts opening up. Also, this opens up to heat pump technologies and to others uh, attached to that. So a more broader spectrum looking on the whole systems. Well, and another a new topic here in the conference is the educational topic. So as we have more in the markets of, of renewables are more and more growing, not only in Europe, worldwide, more than in Europe in the moment, we need to have a good education on the scientific level, on the plumber level, on whatever, so that these renewable energies are built in a correct way and we have more and more experts and it becoming simple, ordinary knowledge of all the people dealing in that field. And so we get good plants and, and good running plants. Well, ISIS has an interesting concept. It's a conference which every, takes place every two years and it always in different countries. I think it was in Croatia in 2012, it was in France in 2014. So what is special about Palma de Mallorca, this side we are here now? Yeah, I would say that uh, one thing that's special is that we have a really a large potential that it's uh, also largely unexploited right now. And that mm, may be traced to, to some problems with, with it, for example, with land occupation, if we want to build large plants. Uh, but also, uh, we have to, to think about uh, ways of, of implementing these uh, renewable energies in, in hotels and in really large buildings. Uh, there are really large opportunities in climatization and uh, hot water preparation. 
where really these technologies can be competitive at, at the current prices. So I think there's a, a lot of lot of things to develop, and I hope this Congress will help to to push it forward to get the the right move. Yeah. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you.